-hmm. Let's turn now to Princess from Jefferson County. Princess, how can we help you tonight? Princess, you with us still? Yes. Please go right, thank you for joining us. Uh, please go right ahead with your question, if you will. How long does it take, if you does not pay your rent, how long does it take for a landlord to get an eviction notice on it? Okay, that's a big mix, misconception. A lot of people think you have to be late on your rent for 30 days, but within your lease, it will tell you when your lease, your rent is delinquent, and normally it's about five days. So when you receive that notice of termination, that is when that landlord is notifying you that you have not paid your rent, and that if you don't cure or pay that delinquent rent, he will file an eviction. So they don't have to wait 30 days. You can get a ter notice of termination of lease if you are delinquent after that five days when that's when your late late note late rent kicks in. And to what those two those two calls were fantastic mm -hmm. and good lead-ins for my question to you. There's some things out there to help folks right now, and there there's some programs out there and some funding. Tell folks a little bit about what what you guys are doing and ways that they may get help. When when the when the pandemic occurred, um, the federal government basically distributed what were called emergency rental assistance programs. That ERAP funding, which is what you always hear when people refer to emergency funding, is to help people who have been affected by COVID. And that's an important part. In order to be eligible for rental assistance, you have to be affected by COVID in some way. That means you were laid off from your job, or it could be when your kids were contact traced at school and you had to stay at home to take care of your children or you had to stay at home to take care of a sick, of a sick relative or something of that nature. Anything that caused you to lose your job and stay at home and become delinquent, then you are eligible for ERAP assistance. Now that emergency rental assistance program is available in Jefferson County. There is one program for Bessemer residents, there's another program for Birmingham residents, and there's another program for Jefferson County residents. Uh, basically, the ERAP assistance, if you are eligible, once you apply, you can be paid 12 months, or your landlord will be paid 12 months of delinquent rent. They can be paid three months of forward rent. And if at that point you are still in the same situation, if there are funds available, you can apply for an additional three months of rent. And then also what people don't realize is you can also be eligible for 12 months of utility payments. And again, the three months forward. The reason that's important is that within your lease, if your power is turned off, that is a violation of your lease. So you have to be able to keep that on in order to stay in your in your um, home or apartment, whatever you are leasing. Well, that can just be a salvation for so mm -hmm. many families, can it? Well, yes it is because another thing, Kirby, and I didn't mention, in addition to the rental money, you can also be paid the court costs and your attorney's fees. Wow. So it takes care of everything. Well, talk to us about the application process. The application process. Now, we don't do the applications, but we refer those clients to, um, I think right now it would be the Birmingham Urban League because they are accepting applications for Jefferson County and Bessemer. Mm -hmm. Birmingham, as we discussed earlier, unfortunately, they're out of money, so we are referring our clients to the state of Alabama. But within that process, they will have to um, bring in their lease, bring in that notice of termination that they have received from the landlord, and at that point, they will also have to show proof that of how they were affected. If you were laid off, bring in that notice from your employer to show that you lost your job due to COVID. So you have to have those elements of proof in order to get through that process. So it's important for people to be proactive. They have this. to be proactive. Again, we don't do the applications, but we refer you to them and we you have to follow up on it. Because you know there have been so many people applying mm -hmm. right. that if you don't follow up, your file gets lost. It gets lost and if you don't do the follow ups, it's very important that you do that part. Great well, information. Like you said, life-saving information. Yes. So thank you so much for, for laying that out for folks.